Greetings and welcome back everyone to Board Game Night and to Battlestar Galactica. We're, we're not sure if Shylon is a Shylon this time or not. <laughs> but uh, I'm joined, as you can tell, by Shenrir. Hello. Briarstone. Greetings. Marbazir. Hi everyone. And Quill18. Uh, Mr. Hey, Nobles. <laughs> hey, there's a reason we turn. dumped you on another planet and therefore you didn't get your first <laughs> Oh, it's actually my turn now. It, no, it's uh, no, it's mine. Uh, oh yeah, right. He got exec. Yeah. He got yeah, you're right. Ordered. Indeed. <laughs> right. So first thing I do is I uh, grab my cards. Under the hand. Some nice rolling R in there. It's more misdirection, but from the fact that you're silent, you and Shen. No, <laughs> <laughs> so if someone has to be pilots. eventually. If he uses his cag ability on the raider at the rear, or not the raider, on the um, what are they called? Viper. Viper at the rear. Can he move upwards and shoot with that guy, or can he just move? Just one action. Okay. It's also worth noting, if he did activate the Viper at the rear, he could have the Viper escort off a civilian ship. Right. Well, just just something that we out, often the heavy neglect. Raider, he's still there. Well, yeah, but activating his CAG ability to activate an unarmed Viper doesn't help shoot the unarmed, mm -hmm. the, the heavy mm -hmm. Raider. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. His options are... Either he can move the existing Viper up, he could launch another Viper, or he could escort a civilian off. And that's a free action, so that's a no-brainer. Also, did you draw your cards? Oh, yes, you did. Yep, Good. yep. I'm just having a look at them now. Now, one thing he could do is he could launch that Super Viper. And it'll stay out for the next jump, right? That's right. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, well... Yeah. Um... Every time we've activated a Viper... How come... Hold on. How did this one unarmed Viper get on the board anyway? Oh, yeah, we haven't jumped yet. Never mind. Derp. Yeah, we haven't jumped. <laughs> it's been a, it's just been a while. We were talking about jumping, so I have it in my we head. We can jump uh, automatically after one more. Uh... Mm -hmm. Right. Assuming we get the right crisis. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to yep. use my CAG ability. I can just launch a Super Viper. Is that right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. that so makes sense. So you are sense. using your ability to activate an unmanned Viper. That yep. includes launching Vipers, and you can choose either a Super Viper or the Super Raptor. Uh, which one would be the best one to launch at this point? The Super Raptor, or...? I think the Viper really... or Sorry, the Raptor, which is the yellow thing, really has to come out at some point. Because its advantage is it stays out when we jump. So you really want to have it out before the first okay. jump. That way, in the future, it's still already there. We've saved ourselves some deployment time. You know what? I'm going to put it... Deploy it here. Um, with Because it's basically a normal Viper, so it's not as strong as the Super Vipers, but it has the same ability of escorting someone off the board, so I can use that to uh that is true although as an alternative if you put it in the forward section if this heavy ra uh, raider moves it's going to move to the forward jump bay and oh. you might want to have something there ready to blow good it point up. Yeah, yeah good point I, yeah. i'm saying your logic is not wrong but here's an alternative mm, well it hasn't moved yet no i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go with my initial plan because I, I do want to try and get these guys off the off the board if mm. i can to avoid um problems now my actual turn uh, I'll just go ahead and attack this Viper in front of me. Viper? Uh, Raider. Raider. Sorry, I keep getting Raider. them the wrong way around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. So what are you I'm attacking? Gonna go, I'm going to go for the Heavy Raider. The going for the Heavy, heavy Raider. Yeah. I just said there's a Heavy Raider. So oh. You still did it one hey. time. Oh. So much this time because it's eight. because you all put so much pressure on me, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> there's fail. And then there's just <laughs> yeah, not fail. yourself that. <sighs> okay, so that was that was so. my. Uh, How many my times did you move? say you shot down those uh, those raiders? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Shenrir. Or is See, it Shylon? Interesting. I mean, why wouldn't you escort something off? Or, or you know, he wants them to die. I mean, get, getting the super raider out is good, but um, yeah, well, I didn't. And you didn't listen that, to me. Honestly. I was correct. I had the best move. I'm always right. And you didn't listen to me, therefore you must be a Cylon. Is not listening to you really proof of being a Cylon? What if you're the Cylon? Because then, not listening to you is proof that you're a human. Well, Cylons Actually, are you very like, it, so. You're not wrong, but you're wrong. Think about it for a second. <laughs> None of us are in the same room, and yet we can hear each other's voice. Does that make us all Cylons? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. very yeah, much. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, dryer crisis. But uh, just to clarify, <laughs> so when that vi when that raider moves down to the back, it has to attack the viper, doesn't it? That's it right. It can't attack the civilians. That's but true. But the viper could yeah. have escorted some civilians off the map right now. Yeah, I'm saying moving, leaving the viper in the rear area is great. 
Wouldn't that I would have move the Viper off? Of instead it's... of launching the yellow one. Wouldn't that when move the Viper off? I would have put it in position right? to deck against the heavy. Where you put the yellow one is like, the only location where it's really not contributing anything whatsoever. In, you know, the way I'm looking but at it. But wouldn't the Viper at the back move off with the, the ship and like go back into the hangar or something? No. Or does it just sit there? Like, it literally, it just, there. literally just removes the, the, the civilian ship. That's right. Yeah. Oh, like bye -bye yeah. So you don't need the extra. And if you were thinking that you did need, if it did disappear, then yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That was why I moved the Viper down so I could move it up on the next turn, and then basically, yeah, the it doesn't it doesn't disappear. Only the civilian right, ship okay. goes away. Because when you said that this one stays out through a jump, I assumed that that was the only thing that would uh, that was the its main thing that it didn't have to move off the board when other things did. But okay, um, I've now got the crisis card. Is that right? Because yep. that's literally yep. my turn down now. Okay, good. Uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. You did draw your cards for the turn, right? Yeah. Yep. That's already done. So, bump. Uh oh, that's not no jump. Mm, pass no effect. Fail. Oh. Okay. And I'm in command. command location are sent. Do we have away. anyone in command? I am. Yeah. So we need on to the pass right this. side. Oh yeah. I have nothing are. but green and purple. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can assist you can, a fair bit. Okay. Yeah, I can help with this too. All right. What's well, the difficulty? It's only, it's only six. So it's actually not that bit. high of a difficulty for us. But uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to add to the skill check from the deck of destiny. The first person to contribute a card will be the chief. Okay. Chief Marples here. Uh, you added two cards, yeah? I, from the deck of destiny. Not oh, myself. Oh. You're the first player uh, in cards. Yeah, I'm the first. So... Uh, who helps to plan how much? Sorry? I can help a lot, if need be. I can help pretty it's much. I can help six. a lot, too. Like, if need I'm be, I can to... solo pass the check. I'm I going to skip it. it. I'm not adding anything, so next. Okay. Wow. Really? Really? Yep. Cylon, Galen, Taro? I only have wow. one card that can help, like, a tiny little bit, and it's a super useful card, otherwise... Right, I'll, I'll put in some, then. There you go. Done. Okay. And how would you mm. describe your contribution there, Shen? Um, I could pass on my own. All right. Well, mm. as as in just like the, oh, okay, all right. That's actually very good. I I have uh, nothing to contribute, so I'll just I'll look intently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put in a card that helps a little bit more, just in case. It doesn't really cost me very much, so I think it's probably fine. Um. Move to skill check. That's what I want. Reasonably speaking, then. From... And as Gwil said earlier, overshooting skill checks yeah. is one of the biggest True. mistakes humans True. So make. You, you didn't contribute at all. Yeah. I, I, why others... would I contribute? My main thing is a green. If anything, I can spike yeah. it if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, blow, not green. I'm an engineer. I, well, I'm the yeah. only engineer here. You've got two leadership and two engineering. You should have a decent amount of greens there anyway. But anyway. Um, yeah, but two people said they can contribute a lot. Why would I contribute the one card that I can contribute that helps barely anything, but is an extremely useful card yeah. otherwise? I have one word to oh, say. You're like, probably it's a much silent. more useful card by an order of magnitude. Yeah, yeah so you got to keep it. You guys, uh, are you reasonably certain you've passed this? Because I can contribute one thing... That I'm going to say would... don't worry about it. It sounds like Shen put in a lot, and I helped okay. a little bit, and there are plan Bs. Okay. No, that's fine, then. I'll skip. Okay. Uh, so, so I need green and purple. Yeah. So that, okay, that's Dreda's contact. That'll spawn some more stuff. So that's plus two, plus six. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just another skill check. Okay, there plus we So we just passed it perfectly. I mean... Two over, but that's not overkill. That's fine. It's very smooth. Uh, so that's the other treachery card. So both treachery cards have gone from the deck of destiny. They were both zeros, which is nice. Okay. This established network probably came from the deck of destiny because it really didn't do anything unless Shen was trying to do some weird misdirection by playing oh, you a card that was worth zero. Weird uh, misdirection. And actually would have hurt us. So, okay, Dreda's contact. We get two raiders in front of Galactica. One, two. And other than that, we pass. Hooray. Which means no effect. Whoa. And we get two. Is that launch three new raiders? It is. In addition to the Raiders contact one. So we've got wow. six wow. raiders and a heavy raider out front. Can I can I just suggest something? Mm. We should jump as soon as possible. Yeah. Or nuke. Do we remember if we mm. jump, it just moves them off to the Cylon fleet. 
but they'll be off the screen. Yeah, but they'll come back and they'll Wait, have friends. Doesn't it always? Is there a difference? If we auto jump, no, yeah, it doesn't matter both? how we jump. They'll get to the silent fleet board. Mm -hmm. My yeah, point yeah, yeah, is, yeah. it may be a good idea to destroy some of them, so oh, that okay, they don't okay. just come back. You know mm -hmm. exactly as is, plus a bunch of extra friends. Yeah, we've been yeah, really yeah, lucky. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I would we've like been to... pretty lucky that the heavy raider has not been activated. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. true. I would that like to point so. out mm -hmm. that of all the talk with the um, the nukes, whenever the nukes start to be talked about, we always have Apollo right there. <laughs> yeah, I, it's my life's goal to nuke Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. There you are. It is the turn. Turn. The heavy raider also returns back to the Cylon fleet board, right? That's right. Yeah. All the okay. enemy ships leave. All the mm -hmm. Vipers, including the Super Viper, return to the hangar. The Super Raider stays out, and the civilian ships stay out. Mm. Right. Hold on. I'm just drawing my cards. I will say, if you did XO me, I would be nuking. So I'm mm -hmm. not saying you know, okay. have to or anything like that. You may not want to for all kinds of different reasons. Just opening it up as a, as a possibility. All right, then. We also have some stuff uh, let me consider... Damaged. Let me consider my options. I could also move the weapons control and try to shoot it. Yeah, probably a good it, move. Wait, what kind of difference does it make when you use a nuke? What do you have to roll with a nuke to destroy the heavy raider versus what you have to roll with weapons control? So this is the admin, uh, the admiral card. If you nuke, you nuke an entire space area mm -hmm. and yeah, then yeah. you roll to see what happens. It's mm -hmm. almost guaranteed to destroy a base star no matter what. Right. Even on the, the one to two thing, damaging a base star twice is actually a good chance you'll get a crit, which will kill it. Mm -hmm. And then if you roll an eight, it destroys everything in that space area. No. Okay, so if you want to destroy the Heavy Raider with a nuke, you have to roll an eight. That's right. Yeah. And you also, if you target it specifically from weapons control, you also have to roll an eight. Uh, no, a seven or an eight. But then okay, the only so it's actually easier to destroy it with weapons control yes. than if with you a wanna, If your only concern is the heavy raider, then yes, mm -hmm. that's true. But there's well, seven I think it is ships because, in there. I mean, if we don't destroy it and jump, it will come back anyway. Yeah, but so will everything else. All right. True, but I mean, the heavy raider is one of the <laughs> easiest ways to lose once it boards you. Because once it boards you, it's very hard to kill the whatever these things are called. Centurions. Yeah, yeah, Centurions. You have to roll like eight or something. Okay, well, you a seven do or an eight, what same you thing. think is best. Well, mm. hold on. I still got, uh, we still got two damaged uh, Super Vipers, right? Okay, but how I many? You should always... So if I have a repair card, I could still play a repair card yep. and then do an action. Mm -hmm. That's right. Except I wouldn't be able to move, but I That's can right. play two action cards right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use a repair card, like so, to move to damaged vipers, to reserves. Okay. Yeah, that's always nice. And then discard it, and then, and then I will use executive orders on Ooh. Quill. Ooh, that's right, the nice. card I was talking about, by the way. So Powerful. It would have oh, that you plus didn't want one. to crash. Yeah. Pray to your god, Apollo. No, uh, no. This card. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, the it. thing is... Squeal, Stone. The thing is, I actually... As much as it's going to suck to be sent to sickbay again, it's better for us if he does roll an 8. Yeah. Mm. It does suck if I do roll the 8, it destroys... Permanently destroys a super... Oh, rank. permanently destroys a well, that. Well, we've got three. Mm. But again, three if you're going to wipe right. out a heavy raider... Six raiders and a base star. It's, it's, it's a good exchange. Come no matter on, how you look at it. I have two actions. As my yep. first action, just to build up some drama, I'm actually going to launch a scout. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I want to do good. a uh, destination good. check okay. before. So I'm going to look at the top two destinations. Destiny. Destiny. Hand, no escape in destiny. Put one. Yeah, that's what it does, right? Uh, oh, I have to roll first. I have to roll first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to, if I don't roll three or higher. This one Raptor to roll you and go. die. Mm -hmm. And then I put one at the top, or no. Hang on, I'm fucking this up. I'm getting confused yeah. because of Briarstone's thing with the destination before. Yeah, if you roll three <laughs> or higher, you don't destroy it. He's blaming on me. Yeah, what happens is I look at the top and then I choose to either put it at the top or bottom. I don't draw the top two. I just look at one and then choose whether it stays at the top or the bottom. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to draw one. 
Um, oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I should show people. <laughs> this is not what I want to leave on the top. It's relatively <laughs> fuel-efficient, but horrible in all kinds of other ways. What is Where's, it? I'm where do you see it? I can't tell you. Oh, oh. oh, okay. I drew it to my hand. Gotcha. And I've decided right. that is not the card I want to have at the top of the destination deck. Okay. okay. I mean, so. the next time we jump, the mission specialist will get to draw two destination cards, right? Three, three actually. Three. Yeah, three. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that, you know, try to minimize mm -hmm. how many bad ones there were. Yep. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, if I've got a choice between the three good ones, I could that's have activated great. two Vipers here, which actually I could have activated the rear one twice and moved two dudes off. Especially mm. since we do have a mission specialist. Mm. Actually, in hindsight, that would have been much stronger. Yeah, actually, yeah. Ooh. Oh, well. So now it do is... you use a nuke? Or oh, well, I might have just wasted a bunch of things, and you rolled a three. Oh. No, no. I was, was that a nuke roll? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm not looking at the math. It was always my intention to use, if I can bring up my goddamn hand, mm -hmm. a strategic planning, which adds okay. two to my dice roll. Technically, I'm supposed to put that before I roll. So I basically, no you're trying to cheat. Going from oh, it literally makes no difference. It just wasted okay. a card. Yeah, it makes okay. no difference. <laughs> but uh, that's why I wasn't looking at the chart. Right, it was okay. my intention to use it. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair, fair okay. enough. If 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 that was genuine, I'm not looking. I don't know the results. Play the card. Yeah, no, that's fine. But hey, uh, you destroyed a base star. I what did, did you do? do? <laughs> Coming from you, Avak, after wanting to attack Heavy Raider like five times and failing every single time. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that is it for the executive order. So now it's back to Chief for his crisis. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so now I draw a crisis. Cards, crisis, and How here it comes. It no jump. What is it? Lay... I should use command. Uh, oh, man. Labor dispute. President chooses. Oh, mm -hmm. minus to morale. Jump on morale. the plus side, oh, wow. good times. You cannot oh. have a base star anymore because it can't launch its missiles. That is true. It will put some stuff on the silent board. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, I'm, crap. I'm strongly wow. suggesting taking the hit on the fuel and then increasing the jump prep because it's, that means we auto jump and decrease. we're done. It doesn't increase. Decrease. It's just, oh, decrease. Yeah, yeah. It's minus yeah. one fuel and decrease the jump preparation. All right, President. What do you what do you say, it, Madam President? So this is the choice between like cancer and the AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. the problem is it's very okay. hard, very uncommon to get more fuel. And if you run out of fuel, then you can't jump, and that's really rough. That being said, running out of morale is also a very common way to mm. lose. We haven't lost either one of them yet. The... We don't have more morale than fuel. Yeah. Yeah. If you look the at it that way. Get quorum cards to increase morale by making a rousing speech. There is, I think, a crisis that can maybe give you fuel. I'm not sure. I know there's a destination yeah. that can also offset your fuel. I mean, loss. well, the we... way I see it, I think fuel is way more important because you literally can't win the game without using fuel. It's yeah. like a requirement, but we're you can without to, using morale. It just depends on the cards that we get. And every jump we make uses fuel. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't mm -hmm. spend yeah. any morale, so we might as well lose the morale. And mm -hmm. I also don't like decreasing the jump prep. Oh, yeah, that's awful. Yeah, yeah. So, but Matt, right the president now, chooses, not us. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm going to get on my little microphone and I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, we are. I would prefer to jump. Mm -hmm. You're all losers. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to get off the microphone. I mean, there's a labor dispute. You're basically telling them, I will shoot you in the head unless you keep working. <laughs> oh, that works too. <laughs> so, what do you do then? Or maybe that's just me. President chooses. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go for the minus two morale. I was going to say, okay. if, if he has any other idea in his head, Quill could just take presidency right now and be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I choose. It's actually an action, but yeah. yeah. Oh, it's an action? Yeah, he, he can't, can't, he can't when yeah. He oh, okay. Well, do it randomly. Darn. That would be a bit overpowered. If yeah, it would be like, uh, no, no, exactly veto. <laughs> I am now the executive, <laughs> as it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I still find it very awesome that I could take admiral title from him, and he can take the president title from me. It's yeah. Just, How do you yeah. take the admiral title from me? It's a standoff. Hmm? How do you take a quorum card. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Nice. Um... Now, because it is Cylon or Base Stars fire missiles, and there's no Base Star mm -hmm. on the board, that means the current player, Chief, roll a D8. We're going to be adding a Base Star to the Cylon fleet board. Please not five or six. Roll a D8. Uh, five or six would be good. Wait, oh wait, no, no, it's it's yeah. it's not a, a clockwise thing. Uh, sorry, I see. This is they will enter our board on the tile that they were on the Cylon board, won't they? It's not like uh, it's moving That's around right. the clock. Yeah, I get it. So just roll an eight-sided die, just for a location. Oh, Doesn't okay. really matter. 
Mm -hmm. Roll now. It doesn't matter, but don't screw it up. Chief? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to roll. Yes, yes it's your, your turn. turn. You roll. That's why we're Five. waiting. Three, yeah, there we go. go. So that's going to go in position not... three, which is in the northeast, which is I was totally expecting someone else to roll. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> this right. also advances the pursuit track to the first level. The CAG must place one civilian ship on the board. It's got to be somewhere where there's no civilian ship already. Okay. Right. Well, actually, and this is the other reason we start have to start farming these things off pretty useful. quickly. That's useful. I'm so really pissed. I didn't activate command. Bunk. There. Mm -hmm. That's Perfect. Fine. That's okay. pretty smart. I like That's it. Good. Go, Hilo. Draw your cards. Okay. Why are you going to join us, Hilo, and actually start helping us rather than holding us card. back? There we go. Like the ball and chain yeah. you well. Hilo might want to MPL us. Oh, it's at the start of my turn. I get to move my icon to the hangar deck. There you go. Yeah, I think FTL Yay! might be a pretty good idea. All right, so let's see what we got here. So I can show my viewers my cards. What level of jump prep are we on? We're ready to go. Yeah, we're at the minus Maximum one. Possible. Oh, right. okay. so we jumping. might auto jump on this crisis, but we might not. And yeah. even if the crisis is a jump icon, it's not necessarily bad for us to jump first and then get the jump icon mm -hmm. anyway. They're always good. Okay. Another possibility conceivably could be to XO me, and then I would activate command twice, which would actually clear all the civilian ships off the board completely. I think. Well, no. Who I just had a brilliant, brilliant idea. idea. Mm -hmm. What's the brilliant Shin. idea? The great idea for Shin. Um, you can't tell us what cards you have, but you just describe them to your viewers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the cards I have are powerful. I have some green cards, some purple cards, some red cards. They have some, some very pretty about being a Cylon. There are very pretty graphics on them. Uh, one of the cards I have actually has Quill's character on it, and he's he's quite handsome in this picture, I must admit. Interesting. So right. he has a mustache. Huh. So does he have a mouth? <laughs> does he have a mouth? <laughs> wow, he's, he's escalated from not having an upper lip to not having a <laughs> mouth. It's like wow. Okay. All right, I I am going to opt for to jump. That that's that's my that's my goal right okay. here. So you move myself to FTL control. And we're going to try to jump. Oh, so when you yeah. actually enter the board, um, hmm? at the start of your second turn, place your character on the hangar deck. Oh, right, so you do get your move. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, just start awesome. in the hangar yep. deck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for FTL control, uh, if we succeed, roll. we don't even lose the one pop, do we? That's right. You need a seven or eight. All right. You guys ready to succeed? Yep. Okay. I'm yep. Ready. My body is ready. Cylon confirmed. <laughs> Well, you can reroll if you want, right? Uh, yeah, any time during my turn, if yeah. I die, I can okay. reroll. Roll it. I, have to I will say, result. I will say, most likely you want to reroll this, but for the sake of argument, you will be drawing a crisis. Conceivably, the crisis or something might require a roll. Like nah. a bunch of ships might shoot rolls. at Apollo. Nah, nah, nah. Save nah, the people. Nah. But I would Save the people, this. Shen. You know, not many people care about Apollo. I mean, we're oh, trying to nuke it. And... <laughs> well, that didn't make any difference at all. Okay. <laughs> we lost one pop. Hey, the <laughs> dice is stuck. <laughs> oh, no. But we jumped. You just killed a million people with one roll of a dice. Well done. How do you feel about yourself? Can we, like, pick up the pieces and make fuel out of it? The yeah. people? Are you saying th what? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I think there's one ability that like, I'm pretty sure some you character can do that. has an ability that allows it, him or to, to yeah. sacrifice population for fuel. Listen, mm -hmm. my mom to, said for any resource, in fact. Not, not, wow. No, oh yeah, uh, yeah, for any resource. What's the serious battle yeah. fuel? Right. Okay. So the vipers move off the thing there back in the hangar, correct? Tom's yep. there. That's mm -hmm. him. And that means where am I? You go where? back. To the Doesn't hangar, the super viper stay? The s no, only the super raptor. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. How do I get the the um, pilot what? off it? Um, Reset, there we are. Okay. So That's I'll, how. I am back in the hangar. Hey, Chief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what up, James? Honestly. And I think <laughs> Shylon has a crisis. All right, crisis so time. You guys ready? Right, I, I think you guys are ready. Yes. I'm ready. Cars. Born ready. My body was ready earlier, and it, you know, what was this? Unexpected reunion. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, before sorry. we do this, and therefore before we forget, as we always do, we okay. need to draw destination cards. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's yeah. up to Lee. Adam. Oh my God. Oh yeah, right. it's me. Avak, draw right. three destination cards. So cards, destination. Oh. Now, and if if you are human, generally speaking, I draw them into my into my into your hand, hand, don't I? Yeah, yeah. 
and you're going to be putting two at the bottom of the deck and one you're going to throw into the middle. Generally good... speaking, we want the highest distance whenever okay. possible. That is the route to yep. success. Every now and again, there might be an argument for something else, but usually it just means you're a Cylon. Um... Well, I think the uh, number one priority is to move as far as possible, and the number two priority is like fuel well, efficiency, uh, yeah, if yeah. it's a consideration. Yeah, I, I would say... It's like a secondary consideration. Mm. But highest destination or distance tends to be fuel mm -hmm. efficient by itself, too. So. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you have like free destination for free fuel or free destination for two fuel, then it's better for two fuel, obviously. Right. <laughs> we, we mentioned that fuel is a way that we might lose, is that right? Uh-huh, yes. No, any resource. If any resource goes down to zero, then we lose. Are, are you saying that yeah, you true. have three cards in front of you and they all use like 10 fuel? No, 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 no. Quite, quite the opposite. I think he's saying that one is maybe an a fuel mining operation. Yeah. Or whatever. There are some rolls on some yeah. cards. It's one of those toughies. I mean, yeah. I, I think I know what I mean, card you I mean, it's basically about. planning. allow you to sacrifice something Here, to like roll and maybe get fuel. It's basically... The only time fuel gets to be a problem is if we happen to get a bunch of crises that eat it or we routinely mm -hmm. jump for two or less. That's the only yeah. time fuel would be tight. If we're jumping for three, max. usually we won't run out. I think jumping for one is always bad regardless of how good yeah. the card might be otherwise. Oh, yeah, definitely. And in fact, I think there's even a card in there. I don't know where it is, but isn't there a card that gives us four in the distance, but then again, it also costs us... Oh, no, that's not four in the distance. I don't know. Right. I don't know if there's anything with... Oh, well, no, it's three in the distance, but it costs you four fuel because it puts oh, okay. you up two on the jump rate. One quick question. Mm -hmm. Oh. Some of these have icons that look like base stars on them. Uh, that's that probably from the expansion that it's from. Okay. It's, it doesn't All mean... Right. None of those will launch a base star. At the very bottom of some of these cards, okay. like, if you look at the treachery pile, um, that card that's faced up, the bottom right's got a little... Um, a raptor there, mm -hmm. that's because it comes from a certain expansion. Okay. Well... Most likely that's all it is. And, and the use of one fuel is implicit, is that right? Or is it based on the card? It the always tells you on the same. card. Right, based okay. Card. Yeah. And uh, can we have more than eight fuel? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Okay, well... It's, it's, it's a hard choice, but uh, I feel that this is going to be the best one that I can play in. I mean, it could uh, go either way. I realize that. But uh, I feel that this is planning for the future. So I, I put the one that I want first. down, and then I put the mm -hmm. others. How do I deal the with the others? All right, okay. Right at the right, bottom. You know, it's hard to screw this up, but uh, just to say, don't screw not, this up. Not picking a distance of three. Uh, one is always bad, no matter what. Okay, so where do I put it? In the destination, yeah? Like One is bad mm -hmm. by default. Uh, well... Maybe it's too late now. I've put the others at the bottom. Hopefully, what this is going to work. Absolutely, okay. a Cylon. A hundred percent. Yep. A hundred percent. This pretty is pretty much. No. Holy crap! Where's Why? that little right click on someone to flag them as That's a Cylon? That's pretty much the worst card you could literally. Play. The Why? Only, yeah. Why? It That's gives us one bad. fuel and doesn't use a fuel. Distance every well, time. You just confirm yourself on a Cylon. And the only way much. we gain fuel here is by trashing a viper. Uh, yep. Break this guy. Break him in instantly. Yep. 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 Want it. Instantly. Want it. You are all terrible people. I literally was just, <laughs> de de just deliberating over it. Always, but no matter what the card says. I fuel efficiency as... By default. Fuel you're, efficiency you're to as it, the thing. I appreciate the effort to try to sell it, but you 100% <laughs> yep, did this move to bonus. <laughs> you're not Who going to convince anyone specialist? here. specialist? The president did. Don't wait to screw this God up. Goddamn like, president. Don't screw this up. This is definitely a screw think, up. Think of yep. it this way. The this president is gave him totally mission specialist not. It doesn't of, use fuel and allows us to gain There's no fuel. way you're going to convince anyone here. We Look, said several times that one is always bad no matter what the card says. <laughs> Briar well, sure gave him a mission specialist as an opportunity for him to, to show his hand as a Cylon, and he did. I should declare martial law. <laughs> yep. You can martial law it. You're all terrible I people. Just, what is my, I what is my ability? put it past my ability you several is, uh... times. Oh, no, so I don't that's have the that end part. of Hilo's turn. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it's not quite, because that was the jump. Now we have to do the crisis, which yes. we haven't done yet. Crisis Jeez. time. Wait, did, did you sacrifice a raptor to get fuel? Yes or no? I, I, I don't think I will. Or we still viper. have full fuel. We've scooched up a bit. We've already lost a viper. It's a viper, right? Not a raptor? It's yeah. a viper, you're right. Yeah. Um, cool. I mean, we probably will end up with extra vipers in the end. I don't know. I you think know the fuel will be worth it, because we, yeah. be we might be able to discard some fuel later on on a crisis to avoid And apparently a big now penalty. we're going to have to jump at least one extra time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. Quill. Yeah. 
I just wanted to point out that um, your your wife there has basically all the lips needed to make up for your black lips. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that actress definitely went a little heavy with the collagen. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right, so crisis right. time, unexpected yeah. reunion. We get Super to use politics, leadership, and tactics on this check. Mm -hmm. It's a check of eights, and if we pass, it's no effect. If we fail, we lose morale, and uh, I lose all my skill cards. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just for effect, how many uh, skill cards do you have? I have eight skill cards. Oh, so yeah. Have... And the morale is already uh, I, bad. We've lost one. So. I can help with this. Two, actually. Yeah, how, how much can everyone help with this? I, I can help quite a bit. Uh, hold on. Let me, I need to read one of these cards. It says zero. I'm gonna assist. I can assist in an indirect way. I won't contribute a card for the check, but I can still help to improve our chance of succeeding. Sounds good. I, I, uh, I can help okay. quite a bit, yeah. regardless. Okay, looks all right. In any case, we're gonna put two cards from the deck of destiny, and the first person to contribute is Laura Roslin. Uh, hey, how uh, how, how desperate are you intently. to discard Again. your hand? In other words, how desperate are we to pass this at all cost? Well, losing morale would be really bad, and he's got eight mm -hmm. skill cards. That would be oh, yeah, right. one of the You're right. Right. Okay. Cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I can only I can only look um, intently at you all in in hopes that you can pass this. Yeah. <laughs> Notice how Avik isn't saying anything anymore because he's obviously a Cylon. You've all been mean to me. I'm just <laughs> sat here thinking, you all jerks. <laughs> you remember all those you're times I was did not. Oh, you know what Avik's doing? If you completely didn't pay attention to what everyone said, you know what Avik's nope. doing? He's going through his piloting cards looking for the largest five and six. Mm -hmm. yep. It's okay. I I don't have any five and six piloting cards. Right. Okay, just yeah. Full story, bro. Card. The only redemption, Avak, so, you have is the fact that whether or not you had three cards there and they all had a destination of one, which I doubt. I mean, I can't explain <laughs> what they were because of the rules. I really do wish I could, right. but playing by the rules, the I can't redeem myself. So Let me tell you, I'm, I'm really sorry. happy that the card I put at the bottom of the deck, I did. In hindsight, like I was all complaining, oh, I wish I'd commanded instead. No, I'm so happy I took that card and shoved it at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I can only imagine what that was. Anyway, Laura yeah. can't play a card. I am not playing a card. It Apollo is really amusing, next. though, that you're all talking about how bad to lose morale is, considering. Mm -hmm. Apollo, are you contributing a card? Uh, oh, is everyone contributing their cards already? No, 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 no. Oh, it's it's your turn. Laura was first. She has no cards. <laughs> oh, right, right. I'm actually, sorry. I'm sorry. not adding a card. Now it's you. Um, be two people out. Okay, well, how likely are we going to be passing this check? I I'm not answering that Don't question. Don't tell him. Dan Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it all, it all affects how many cards I'm going to put in you. Because if I over overspend on the deck, which I can at this point, you're just going to be, oh, you're definitely a Cylon. Then I'm going to spend another okay. like well, three or four turns nice. in the brig like I did last time. And you're like, oh, you're a Cylon. No, oh, wait, no Shen was the Cylon. Oh, no. No one has played any cards yet, so obviously, at this point, we need some help to pass this. Right. But how much? Because I've got very high-level cards. Do I really need to put it down if someone else is going to be dropping it in? I, I can help a lot. I would say put one card. Yeah, I would okay. say put one card. You don't have to. No, no pressure. No, I mean, it makes sense to. If you feel that it would be best for me to drop down a high roller... Just play something. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Quill's... Play something or not play something. Let's put it on your silent no. bullshit. <laughs> so, I'm so next, mean. Right? So mean. All right. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm dropping a card. I'm dropping a card down now. Um, mm -hmm. Move to skill check. Okay. So that's one card. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so we pass Chief. This. Chief Marvis Okay. Here. So I'm next. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, hold on. Uh, yellow, green, and purple. Well, I'm going to help as much as I possibly can, although it pains me to discard one of these. All right, I'm going to help as much as I possibly can. Is that like you're helping mm. a lot? You probably yeah, don't yeah. need to. Oh, you've already I, I down, obviously so. can't tell you the oh, no, exact number. One down. But no, you I, probably... I can't pass this on my own because that would be a bit crazy, but I am it helping quite a bit. Would okay. be Are you unlikely... Done? Hold, no, I'm not done. Could Hold on for a moment. I don't oh want goodness. to click something wrong. Cards. Can you stop for a moment? Uh, Thanks. What? I need to decide. Hold on. Hold on. I can't decide whether this card is good or bad. I need to read. If you've okay. put in three the cards, you're I need to fine. read the text. I need to focus for a moment. Okay. So give me a second. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm done. This one would be actually bad. I think it will be bad. Yeah, because some of those skill checks don't necessarily affect a number, but can have a side yeah. effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. this of... one will definitely be bad, so I'm done. Okay. I added and... three cards, and they will help quite a bit. Hilo, you're last up. All right, I'm going to put one. It's unlikely you need and to put two. Much in here. I'm just going to put two, just this. in case, just in case. I know we're, we're going to overshoot by a lot. But I'm yeah, done. We're we good. really are. I wouldn't point. be so convinced that we will overshoot by a lot. Play uh, two, so, lose hey, them all. Who would have expected a bad piloting card? <laughs> Whoa. <what? laughs> yeah. so we're at plus two. That is so You'll strange. find a really Five. good card in there. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Plus 11. Holy crap. Okay, we, we've overshot. 13. As I said, we win. Yeah. 16. Wow. <laughs> Only one spike. It could have come from the deck of destiny. I don't know. Uh, I, I think know. this was a net positive because if we failed, uh, the current player would lose eight cards, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And That's certainly Apollo is implying that that six came from him. He's trying yeah. to redeem himself. I did. Like... To be fair, well, it wasn't even like I'm doing it at the end. I was flat out. Team. No, I know, no, but I was that, flat out saying. Is it against the rules to suggest what exact value of the card you added? That is it, against it, the rules. It is. I mean, he didn't say specifically. He just said there's that's a really the rules. powerful card. Supposed. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, maybe. Well, at maybe at the beginning, the I flat out said, I don't think any of you really need to put more in. You were saying, I need to stack this up. I was like, it would be very hard for you not to be able to pass this based well, on no offense, doing. but you pretty much revealed yourself yeah. as a Cylon, and that's what a Cylon okay. would say. Convince okay, okay. the well, players to not add any positives okay, calm after down. spiking. Calm, calm, calm down, down so my lord. Look, Can we finish I, the crisis, please? Indeed. Okay, so the next thing is we gotta do the Raiders. So does that move them on the Cylon fleet board? It does. Uh, active yeah. player, Hilo, go ahead, roll a d8. Got it. And that will put one Raider in position six i'm just checking it is one yeah just one in position six that advances the pursuit track which does nothing but they are halfway to jumping back in on us okay, okay. and that's it for the crisis yep right. and so probably it for the episode as well yeah mm -hmm. Woo! So thanks for watching right. everyone thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time where um i don't know more drama on the crisis <laughs> probably <laughs> Take care, everyone. Take care.